For this to happen, all 47 On the hills of the anniversary of 9-11, architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth say the American public has been fed a storyline about what happened on 9-11-2001, when reportedly 19 al-Qaeda terrorists hijacked four commercial passenger jet airliners and crashed into the twin towers of the World Trade Center in New York City, killing everyone on board and many others working in the buildings. The official story is a lie. It's a fraud. Architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth say critically important evidence regarding the destruction of three World Trade Center towers has emerged, showing preset explosives were used in the demolition of the buildings. There had to be explosives. There's, there's no other way for the building to come down symmetrically straight down. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, like a tree, if you cut uh, into the tree, it falls to the side that you cut. The Twin Towers suffered total destruction in 10 to 14 seconds in near free fall accelerations. Experts here say that can only occur as a result of preset demolition explosives. Once we take the blinders off, we can see there's very few people in America who have taken the blinders off. So we're assisting people by showing them the evidence. The group also asserts that molten metal was found post the 9-11 inquiry. Jet fuel and office fires cannot melt iron or steel. They don't get even half as hot as that. And so something else was there that's very energetic material that had to be placed throughout the buildings. How could they be so bold as to pull the largest crime, uh, the crime of the century, really, and, and expect to get away with it? And in fact, they did. If there is a, uh, a responsible party, it, it ends with Bush and comes down to Cheney and then comes down through the military and the various bureaucracies that come. No question, this kind of activity goes to the very top. Finally, Architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth are calling on U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder to request a federal grand jury investigation into this alleged cover-up. For Press TV, Rhonda Pence, Washington.